This tutorial is about creating code operation using PHP, MySQL, and Bootstrap. First of all, I will create the database from phpMyAdmin. is created through PHP which is empty now and go for the first step create a table employee basics and I will apply select insert update and delete operation in this step select the table copy and uh, go to the score tab and paste the code. Okay, our employee basic table is created. And if I open the structure, then you can see I did the primary key and make it auto increment. Auto increment and save. So it is now auto increment time by key and other fields are named gender, address, phone, and post. Now all are set to Varga. Now go for the next step. Create a folder named PHP Group in SDOX folder. Again, SDOX and create the new folder. Uh, folder name is PHP Group. So rename PHP good. Okay. Our folder is created in PHP good, which is empty now. Now go for the step three. You can download this file by clicking on this link. I have already created uh, this uh, seven file, so I will copy this file to the destination folder which is php good so my downloaded file is here just copy all this file and paste here location is tab is of php good now go for the step 6 create a database.php file so open any editor. I am using a Dream Ever. So create the PHP file. And this is the code for creating database connection with MySQL server. So copy and paste the code here. And save the file name as database.php in PHP code folder. which was empty before php goods yep. and now create the file database.php in this location okay and uh, now correct the connection stream our database name is cool php so Type here root php and localhost root empty password and database name root php. Save the file and go for the next step. Step 5 create a folder named profile images where all images of employees will be stored. So create the folder in this location. No folder profile images. Okay, now go for the step six. Create index.php file with this code. New file. 
PHP. Delete the existing content and paste the code. Okay. First of all, save the file as index.php. Okay. If you check the code, the all seven uh, files are linked here. And uh, like this. And here, uh, the data table function is called to uh, make the sorting and searching the content from the table. And uh, in this code, uh, these tables are using to show all records of employee basic tables which are created before. And uh, there are four models are used. One is detail model edit model, delete model, and add model. Add model for inserting data, edit model for updating data, delete model for showing particular record of any employee, and delete model to delete any particular record of any employee. So I didn't uh, create this file yet, so I will do the task in the next step. Go for the step seven, show add model.php which is linked in the end of this file to insert any new employee data. So copy the code of step 7 and create the new file. And paste the code. And save the file name as show add model dot page. Okay, now here the next file to insert. It is uh, this is the uh, model for inserting the. Now here the next model to update the data which will be show edit model dot page and step eight contain the code for edit model or update model. Just copy the code of step eight and create the new file for updating the employee record. And save the file name as show edit model dot Okay, now go for the next step. Step nine show delete model dot file. So copy the code of step nine for deleting the record and create a new file and save the file name as show delete model dot page. Okay, now go for step 3. Create detail model.php. This model will display the all content of any particular input. So copy the code of step 10 and create a new PHP file. There's the code here. Copy the file name from show detail dot page. Okay, now go for step eleven. 
PHP code for inserting data into the employee basic tab. To copy the code of step 11, here the new file and save the file name as insert.php. Now go for step 12. And copy the code. And create the file object.php. Now go for step 13, the code for deleting records, delete.php. Okay, now go for step 14, test the code. Before testing the code, I will explain how these flows are working. In the body section, there is a table which will show all records from the employee basic table. And there are three buttons, detail, edit and delete. When the detail button will be pressed, it will call the detail model. When edit button will be pressed, it will call edit model. And when the delete button will press, then it will call delete model. And uh, there is another model which is add model. And uh, this model will call when the user create the in add new button. Add new button is here and it will call the model add new. An add new model contains a form to insert all necessary fields to the employee basic tables and there are two buttons save and cancel. When the save button is uh, pressed then it will call the file name insert.php and insert.php will read all the records from the form and run the insert query to insert the data and this part is added to insert the upload the employee image and in edit model similarly it will uh, call the file update.php uh, which is mentioned here with the employee id and update code will uh, update that particular employee information and uh, in the delete button uh, when the delete button is pressed then it will call show delete model and uh, show delete model this is our delete model and when delete is called it will call delete.php file which will delete the record and also the image of that particular record will be removed from that location okay now time to open the database and browse the table there is no record here so first of all, I will run the index.php file. And you can see there is no record here because our table is empty now. First of all, I will create a record. You can see one record is added here and if I uh, browse here, then 
take a look uh, the movies to stay here. And if I click on the detail letter, it is showing the detailed record of this effort. And if we click on the edit button, you can also modify the program modifying the zero zero. And say the data is updated here. And for deleting, you just click on the delete button. Now uh, to check the pagination and the search option, I will add two or three more records and uh, the insert card is a script from this video. So after inserting uh, five or six records, you have to test the next part of this. Okay, after inserting minimum six records, your table will be look like this. I have inserted here uh, six records, these are around the table. You can see there are six records. And in the first page, it is showing the first five records, and I go to the second page, and it is showing the sixth record. And if I search, sorry, and uh, if I search any record from here, suppose I am searching Yakub. And you can see it, you can filter the data. In the similar way, if I want to show 10 records at a time, just click on it and it is showing the 10 record, uh, 6 records. Because I have no more than 6 records, then it is showing all the records in the first page. In this way, using this simple uh, good operation step, you can create PHP code in your web application. Hope you will try this code and this code will help to solve your problem. Thank you.